Okay, can we talk about float tank? We went to do something that we thought would be very like chill, very like a new experience. Um, never done it, I've never done it, you've never done it. Um, it's basically, you get there, it's very, very pretty, like a beautiful like place. It's gorgeous in our lifetime, they gave us like a little wellness uh, energy drink shot. A tincture, or mm -hmm. tincture, whatever Yeah, call tincture, it. tincture, whatever. Um, they gave us like a little, yeah, a little coconut water to sip with like some like lime or lemon. Um, all around awesome experience. They let you pick out what you want to listen to when you're in this float tank. They had Matthew McConaughey options, and I was like, oh, I listen to him on the call. And I laughed, because I just think of Matthew McConaughey and, like, all the movies he's in and all the roles he plays, and, I mean, I love him. Yeah. But I just can't take it serious. Yeah. And I'm thinking this is supposed to be, like, relaxing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can't really... His voice is actually very relaxing to fall asleep to. Maybe if I had gone with Matthew McConaughey, you I would have had a different experience. Yeah, and I think you should have... But I had an experience. Yeah. <clears throat> so I died. talk about it. I died. So I don't know how else to say it. I died. Um, and I was right <laughs> next to her, and I feel so bad that I wasn't there with her, so, helping her come back to <clears throat> life. So I, I know I've mentioned how paranoid I've been about getting Bolly Belly, because like, I feel like something for me is I'm so infrequently sick that I hate the thought of being sick, or I'm paranoid of getting sick in like any manner. Um, so with this, I was just kind of like, oh, you know, you're in a tank, you float, you basically listen to like some calming music, and it's I did like it's very salty I did, like, water. A, I did like a calm your mind track, you know, thinking that <laughs> that will help. It did not. Um, so she's walking us through, telling us how to do it. She's like, so beforehand, make sure that you use these earplugs while it's you're ninety so minutes while you're dry. Put the put the earplugs in because it will help prevent the salt water from getting in your ears. Um, Jump in the shower, and then you have to shower off everything. So you can only use soap and body wash, no conditioner. Um, and then at the end, you can shower again, use conditioner, and you spray vinegar in your ears after you take out the earplugs to kind of remove salt from the ears. Which like, works. Okay, cool. We're down for business. She's like, okay, so now here's the buttons. Here's the light button in case, you know, the darkness is too much for you. Here's the panels, you know, where the music is. You can turn it up, you can Volume, turn it down. Yeah. And it's all here right next to your head, so you'll be able to find it. I couldn't find it. Honestly. We're getting there, though, because yeah. she also said that, <laughs> you know, the music will be playing, blah, blah. Then there will be a period where the music is much quieter, and it's kind of more like rain sounds and just calming sounds. And then, in the last 10 minutes of your 90-minute experience, the music will come back on. That's how you will know that you're coming to an end in your float tank experience. And then, the lights will slowly begin to come on like a morning sunrise, and a, woman will tell, a woman's voice will tell you, it's time to get out of the float tank. You're done. Yay. None of that happened. So... I'm to the point where I'm showering. It's, yeah, I was fucking with the earplugs, you know, trying to make sure I didn't get anything in because I'm, I don't know why. I've always been paranoid of things like in my ears, like whether it's too much wax. I was also terrified of earwigs when I was a kid because they climb in your ears. Yeah. And I never got one that got into a lady's brain. Terrifying stuff. Anyway, yeah. I have a rational fear. Maybe I need to go back to therapy. I don't know. Anyway, we're getting there. So. <laughs> but this was supposed to be therapeutic. It was supposed to be therapeutic. The whole experience. And, uh, you know, I, I, I start to shower, everything is good, and then I'm to the point where I'm gonna open my float tank door. And I'm not a weak woman. You no, guys know she's this. the strongest person I know. I was pulling on this fucking float tank door. I had to put my foot on the float tank and pull it to get it open, finally. And I had a moment as I was getting in that I was like, they told us to lock the door to the room and I could barely get this door open. Crazy. Maybe I'll just leave it partially cracked. Because she said that you can leave it open. You but know, the water would just be cooler. Would be a little bit cooler. So maybe I'll just leave it a little cracked. So I get all the way in. And it shuts. And it did not It did not shut for a crack. But I hadn't turned the light on yet. And I couldn't find the light button. It's so pitch it black. So it was complete darkness. It's pitch black. The music didn't start. <laughs> I'm pressing every button that I can conceivably find. There's no music. So it's pitch black and no sound except me <laughs> flailing around inside of the float tank. Being like... <sighs> <laughs> With salt water that's With extremely salt. salty. Splashing. <clears throat> Well, she told us about like the fresh water spray on the side. She's like, you can use that to spray your face, you know, if, you, if it gets or, or near your, your eyes yeah, or your to, mouth. Yeah, to like kind of clear it off. So I'm fumbling all around. I finally find that and I spray my face. And then 
like a stupid person, I try to hang it back up on the wall, but it drops into the salt water because there's no light. I still haven't found the fucking light. It was on the ceiling, which is why you couldn't find it. It was up, not on the side. She said it was on the side. There was so much darkness. I was misleading. So that fell down. I'm like, great. So now the fresh water is covered in salt water and I wipe my eyes. Ah. So my eyes are burning. So I'm just like, oh wait, can we there. talk about our bowels? Oh, that was another thing. So they had petroleum jellies for, she's like, if you have any cuts or whatever. And the only cut I had was from shaving using and a dollar store razor type thing. Don't ever do that. It's a bad idea. It wasn't even a dollar store, but it's like one. Yeah, but I had a band-aid, so it was fine. And that was fine. You know, it was not fine. My butthole Pooping and Pooping charcoal hers. in Bali will make your butthole a little raw. My butthole was on fire. Mine too. And after we were done, I was like, did your butthole burn yeah. like like a bitch. It burned like a motherfucker. It like, was crazy. The first like, 10 minutes of my experience was like just burning So they hole. have this little like floaty pillow that you kind of like put your head in that's supposed to help with neck tension. But you know what doesn't help with neck tension? When you're so tense that you're <laughs> laying in the float tank with your shoulders pulled all the way up to your ears because you're panicking. So I'm trying Aww. to lay there and trying to relax and my butthole is on fire. <laughs> I can't I relax. Saw in your eyes. I can't relax. The music isn't starting no matter what button I press. And I'm just laying there like, God, is this ever going to end? And then all of a sudden my earplug starts leaking. Oh so I'm God. getting salt water into my ears. I'm trying to lie there and float and relax. And I'm thinking, people do this for fucking fun? How? So I'm thinking, all right, I got to get out of the float tank. I need to get out because I need to like fix the ears. This little thing or I'm going to get salt in my ear. I didn't know if that was going to fuck me up for the rest of the trip or something. So I try to get out and I'm pushing on this thing and I can't get it open. Mm. So I finally get it out of my ear and I find the bottle. So I spray that with salt water. I'm flicking it around to let it dry. I'm just kneeling in the float tank. So this is how I look for those who are watching on YouTube. This is me in the float tank squirting, <laughs> squirting my earbud. Because it is this big. Shaking it off. It's I'm hunched very over. small. It's not okay. It's like a coffin. And as it goes, my pillow floats away somewhere into the <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker. So I'm trying to dry this thing. I end up putting it back in my ear. And then I can still hear water in my ear. But I'm like, at this point, I don't know. I can't get out. So whatever. It's fine. And I was so committed to like finishing the float. Yeah, that experience. was the thing. I was like, you, like, you could have left. Because I'm like, this is me like trying to do a thing. I was like, I was like, literally nobody else is freaking out on a float tank right now. Everyone else is having a fantastic time. I wasn't having a fantastic time. There's something time. wrong with me. <laughs> it was, no. So I start crawling around like Velma looking for my glasses. <laughs> like, where's my pillow? Where's the light? Where's anything? It was I finally fun. find the pillow. I lay back and then randomly the music comes on. And it's so loud. It's so, <laughs> it's so loud. So it's so <laughs> loud. like a fucking concert if I was an ant. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not working. I wonder what do I do? So I'm laying back and then I'm fumbling with the controls. I finally get the music turned down just a little bit. And then I lay there in the dark, floating, my butthole on fire, finally floating, finally thinking maybe now I'll be able to calm down. And then I felt like I was floating off into an abyss of nothing. I wasn't moving. You, just, <laughs> you float in one space. Like I kept like randomly freaking out my chest was going like this just patter patter patter, patter, patter like panic pounding and i kept throwing out my hands to feel the sides of the float tank to make sure i wasn't actually floating away into the abyss there was no abyss i was enclosed <laughs> it made no freaking sense were you so, still in the dark yeah. yes because no matter what i did i couldn't find the fucking light that was not happening so we go I'm th going through this whole experience it's totally fine it's funny talking about it now but I'm, you know, floating it wasn't off. funny then. I'm floating off into the abyss, you know, again and again. And then I open my eyes thinking maybe there'll be some little bit of something. Maybe it'll be better if I open my eyes. It wasn't because then I started thinking this is what will happen to you if you ever go blind. You'll just be existing in darkness forever. Then so my heart started beating faster. And it got to the point where I started crying. I was just sitting there crying in a float oh. tank alone 
in the darkness with salty tears. <laughs> Loud music. With salty tears spread on my salty face. My face is so dry, like, because there's just salt all over my face. Because... We're talking the saltiest water, not like the ocean. It's salty like, enough to float in. You yeah. have to understand, like, it's so Your body salt. will just float to the top. So I'm crying, my nose is full of snot, and I'm like, I don't think I can just, like, snot rock it into a fucking, into a float tank, just like, I was considering like, peeing in mine. I had to pee so bad at the end. And I was like, and then I get to the point and I and I was like, oh my God, this is what death is like. Death is just darkness forever. And you're gonna die someday. And what if you start it was like, what if you die now? What if this is where you go? Oh my god. And then I passed out. She legit passed out. I literally passed out. I woke up again. Um, my face was even more on fire because it had just been covered in salt this entire time. And I woke up to no sound. There was no sound. Remember how they said there was going to be like a little like or whatever playing? There was nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I laid there in the dark with my eyes open, floating off into whatever abyss, just thinking every horrible thing that, you know, that I could ever think in my entire life. I started panicking again. I pass out again because I was like hyperventilating, freaking out. I was crying again, just <laughs> and finally get to the point where I wake up again because the blaring music is back. And I'm like, okay, this is the last 10 minutes. I've made it through this far. I can fucking do this. The lights will come back on soon. The music plays for what I guess is another 10 minutes. No comforting voice tells me it's time to get out. The lights never came on. None of that ever happened. So I'm naked, my butthole is still burning, and I'm trying to like push my way out of this float tank. I finally get it open. And I just stand there in the shower, looking like someone who has just lost everyone that they ever love, I'm sure. <laughs> like, I'm sure I look like Julia every time she's punished for shitting in the house, but like 10 times worse. Like, I'm just standing there in the shower, just like... <sighs> were you like, were you like sitting in the fetal position, rocking back and forth? Like, no. I, I was just standing there. I just stood there for the longest time, just being like, I'm so happy that there is light in this room, standing in the shower. And I finally get out of the shower and I'm standing there like in my robe, just kind of like standing there, rocking That's back how and forth outside of my door. And then Laura comes out. And she looked ghost white and I knew something was wrong.